everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. I've got this really lovely, very cute explosion box. It's using the free downloadable papers by Trimcraft. And on one of the printouts that you can get, they've got this lovely A4 sheet of some cutouts. And one of them is this one, You're the Bomb. And it's a tag. And as soon as I saw it, I thought, yeah, I know what I want to do this. Um, you know, use it with what project. So I've decorated the box with all the other papers. You've got the loved ones there with the hearts and I've used the holographic Dovecraft mirrored cardstock so you can see all the wonderful rainbow colours that it, it picks up there, which is great. Really nice bow and just a little flower there. And then basically you just take the lid off and this happens and they're just so fun. Now I have done a uh, graduation cap one which I'd done a couple of years ago, and I'll share the link to that style, because again, you know, you might want to do a, a, a different theme, or, you know, just, just have a look at some other, you know, ways to do them, so that one, like I said, will be linked up there for you. But this is my Valentine's themed one, so really, really pleased with it, and inside, it has a lovely bath bomb gift. So this is the Wild Rose by Bomb Cosmetics, and um, they do beautiful bath bombs, really, really nice. And I just thought, how lovely does this all go together? So um, you can use, when we get to that bit, depending on what size circle you die cut here will depend on the size, I guess, of your bath bomb. So I had some smaller bath bombs which I'd made, but they just looked a bit lost. So these ones here I purchased and I just think it's a really nice way to, to obviously give these as a gift. And it sits perfectly in there. Now what I am gonna do is pop a couple of glue dots just to, again, I guess if it's being transported, just to stop the risk of that falling out but otherwise it sits in there really nicely. Then you've got your four sides here. So this one I've added a little greeting card. So this is a two and a half by two and a half small card. So you can write your little message in there. And it's again using the same holographic card stock. And I just die cut one of my little love dies. And then I've just, with my hot glue, popped a little um, bulldog clip just there in the pink. And then I've just gone around, you know, that's from the cutouts, the free downloads. Again, all the papers in here. This is another die. It just says all my love. And I've just added some flowers on there. And again, you can see there. And then the butterflies. Again, I've die cut three of them. So there's the white in between. And then there's the base and then the detail. And I've got a little gemstone in the middle. And then I've done this heart effect on the sides. And you just fold up your sides like so. And then the lid will fit perfectly on the top and it's a reinforced lid so it's very very strong and again I just think they make lovely gifts and as I've always said you can make this for any theme you want so although mine's Valentine's you know happy birthday like I said the graduation one that I've done all kinds of things so let's crack on and make it so this is the other bomb really again like I said this is the the rose wild rose um, I'll share links to where I got these from and the the kind of I guess cream in the centre there is actually sheer butter and the lady said that when that's in the bath it just becomes really nice and soft and it's like a nice like almost cream for your skin and then you get the rose leaves um, or petals just floating on the top so yeah really really lovely that one. Okay so I've already gone ahead and die cut out another one of the tickets there or the tag and what I've just gone ahead and done is kind of you want to create like a wave effect so on the end I just kind of you know curve it one way with my folder here and then in the middle kind of go the opposite way and then on the end go back out again the other way so you just created this kind of wave and I think it just makes that kind of tag look I don't know just just looks quite good and it's kind of how a tag would really sit I guess I'm, get, I'm thinking of like the old school style ones but yeah so I've just done that one and then I've already gone ahead and die cut all those same bits and pieces ready to stick in place so there's my little peg I've put a little bow on this one and again that's already there and I'll show you how to get that stuck down I'll go through the measurements of that card as well so don't worry I've got my little flowers there I've got my bow for the top adhesives and all of the other bits right so for the main actual case you will need one piece of 12 by 12 cardstock so this is the do crafts colossal 216 gsm cardstock and i've just got this really lovely pink color and again it matches and complements really well with the papers that i'm using so that's what you need there i'm going to keep that on there while i go through these measurements for the very top mat so this is actually going on the lid here 
the mirrored cardstock, so the biggest piece is three and three quarters squared, and then the piece on top is three and a half inches squared. Okay, so that's for the top of the lid, and that's going to have my ticket on the top and my bow and so on. All right, so decide what you want to do there. Then you're going to need eight pieces of the measurements I'm going to give you now, and this is to mat all the four sides on the outside and all the four sides on the inside. So the white piece here is three and three quarters. The mirrored cardstock, which is the second layer, is three and a half inches squared, and then the one on top of that, so the pattern paper, is three inches squared. Sorry. <laughs> Start again. They drop down in quarter of an inch increments, so the, the white one is three and three quarters, the mirrored cardstock is three and a half inches squared, and the smaller one, the patterned one, is three and a quarter squared. So like I said, you want eight of them, but what I've done is I've done four with the hearts, which is going to go inside, and then I've done four with the love, which will go on the outside. Okay, so again, it's up to you. If you want to do them all the same, you might want to do every one different. You might want to put photos on the inside, so there's lots and lots of ways to do it. Then this piece here is to decorate the top of the kind of um, platform that the bath bomb sits in in the middle. This is optional. You can keep the card you can keep it plain white, which I'll show you in a moment, or you can add this piece. So if you do decide to add it, this is three and a half inches squared, okay? Then for that little, like I said, platform that the bath bomb sits in, this is a piece of five and three quarters by five and three quarters, and this is the white um, paper mill direct, direct 300 GSM smooth cardstock. I'm just using this for everything at the moment, but that's that. And then to decorate the sides of your lid, You'll need four pieces, and this is the mirrored cardstock again, so it's three quarters of an inch by, I'll get this one in here, it's because I'm doing it on top of this card, by three and three quarters. And then the one on top, grab my ruler here, it is three and a half by half. Okay, so again, four of those. And then for the little card, like I said, this was a two and a quarter, two and a half by two and a half. So it's a piece of five by two and a half. And along the five inch side, you just want to score at two and a half. Fold it in half and you'll have that. And then on the top here, this is two and a quarter by two and a quarter pattern paper. And then again, I've just finished it off with that little sentiment. So that is all the measurements, the circle and all that lot. I'm going to go through and give you the sizes once we get to it. So using our cardstock here, grab my stylus. So really simple scoring. All you want to do is score at four and eight. And then rotate your cardstock and again score at four and eight. Okay, remove your scoreboard. Now you can do this next bit, you can either fold freehand or you can use your ruler and stylus. I prefer to use my ruler and stylus just because I think you get a much crisper, nicer score line as opposed to just folding it freehand. And what we're going to do is we're going to concentrate on the four outer squares and we're going to score from here to the outside and then here to the outside and then here to the outside and here to the outside. So the middle square, all four corners of that middle square, that's where you're starting from and just scoring out. So we're going to create a score line through the half, you know, of these squares here. So if I just show you, um, you want to make sure that you get it from point to point. So it's always best to put your stylus down um, and then your ruler. But can you see now, so there's my middle square, top right of that one. And I've gone all the way up to the top right of that outer square. Okay, so top right of this square, which is the bottom left of this one. <laughs> you can see what I'm doing, you're just going right across. You just want to do that in every one. So again, this one here. Okay, so that's what you should have. And just pick up the light there, there we go. So this is the top one. And then if I rotate, and you've got the same with those ones. All right. You see there just where they're coming out. So now what we want to do is burnish all of our score lines. So just go along. Doing all the straight ones first. Okay. And then these outer ones here. 
this is basically going to be the box coming in. So these ones you want to bring up. So you can just see your score line coming through. And you just want to fold them like so. And then what I do is I fold them back out that way as well. Okay, in fact, do it outwards first. It might help you better. So you're just doing just that square on the outside. You can see how easy it is to to do it because the other ones just want to kind of come up so if you fold it over and then fold that back this just automatically all comes up with it which is fine Again, just burnish it and then fold it out the other way just make sure you're getting really nice crisp score lines and then just bring them back in just try and do them on both sides okay like so. so you've kind of got this almost like a weird shaped bowl coming together like so because now this bit's optional so on my other one that I've shared up here you can now you can remove these these four outer squares and not have them at all and you just bring up these four here so that's how I do it on the other one whereas with this one I wanted to create a heart shape so the easiest way to do it is if you fold it like this. Grab a pencil and you just want to roughly draw a heart, half a heart. So because we're folding it in half like this, you can see what I'm working on. And I mean, you might want to download a heart. You might, you might be doing this on your digital cutting machines. But all I'm kind of doing is coming down about one inch along this score line here and then just kind of just kind of sketching that kind of effect because you've got to imagine that this is one half of your heart okay so if I just I think I'm kind of happy with that actually I'm not even going to faff about too much with it because in a minute we're going to make a template but you do kind of have to have to do this first one yourself you might have an object that you want to draw around I mean I've got a punch here just at hand but you know what I mean just as an example you're just going to just roughly do something like that all right you may just want to do a curve and just have it because what happens when you cut it that would then be just like a half kind of circle effect is just to create a pattern really in the corner. So now if I grab my my snips, holding the two together, pinching the two together, then you're just going to really neatly just cut this out. And you're just cutting up to the score line there and then you're going to actually cut down you can just pinch it together but you're going to cut down both and we can go and tidy this all up again in a minute like so and now when I open it I've got this heart now I've gone a bit too straight there so what I can do now because this is the one that you're kind of playing around with but I can come in a little bit more there and a little bit more there you see what I've just done you can see how that's going to look more like a heart now. So again, with my snips, I can just go in. Like so. And just give it more of that kind of rounded heart shape because it was looking a bit straight before. much much happier with that okay now what you do is grab some paper pop it underneath making sure it kind of covers that whole area like so and you're going to draw around this one and basically now that means that you don't have to do this on the same on every single one okay and then cut this out so I'm just gonna go in anywhere like that just cut this out you can if you want just draw it on each one you know, if you want to just, you know, go for it and you're quite happy to do them, then that's fine. But if you do want to just make a little template so you know you've got them exact, this is the well, the way I found easiest to do it. And again, just kind of go off so that you can just see what I've done. Now, I can take this to the next one and you just want to marry up the two kind of ends here to the sides of this one. So just bring them down until they meet 
the score line here and here, which that has, and then I'm just going to draw around it. And the middle here should line up with the middle score line there. So you just got to make sure that you get all that in the right place. Any pencil marks you can rub out. But now there's that one, all ready to be cut. Go around to this one here. So it's just getting that first one right. And the good thing is you're using a pencil so you can rub it out. So don't cut it, the first one. Don't cut it until you're really, you know, 100% sure that you're happy with it. Like so. You might have a heart-shaped die. You can pop that in there if you've got something that's big enough. You just want it to go over the width of this, you know, kind of square. There we go. Like so. Now, again, you can fold this in half, like so, and cut it out if you want. But I'm going to just do it as one, just because I feel a bit better doing it that way. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut this all out. Okay, so there you have it, all cut out. How cool does that look? And I just like that I know that they're all the same. Now, one other thing I also do as well is around all these, when you cut it, remove any score line that you've got on these pieces here, these flat pieces. Get rid of any of that bulky score line because it will help when we go to close the box and put the lid on. See, I've got a bit there. Can you still see where I've got the lip of that score line so I'm just going to come in just ever so slightly it's only a tiny little slither but you'll be surprised what a difference that will make when you know we go to put the lid on there we go okay it just looks much much neater so now it's just the fun part of decorating so like I said I'd already gone ahead and done all of these so I'm going to work from the inside first so that's my outside ones so that is going to go in there and you will have a perfect border now I've done it so that my print is facing up the right way as if you were sat in the middle here and you were to look out to all of the sides they'd all be facing you if you want to have them that way you can but I've done them so they all face in that way okay so they're going to go there we're going to make the platform for that piece and also I've just realized I haven't cut my lid there was another piece missing so I'll give you the measurement for that one in a minute anyway um, so yes yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and get these ones stuck down Then if you flip it over, and this is now the outside, so these ones here are going to go like so. Again, all facing that way, because when we go to put it up, then they'll be facing up the right way. Okay, so you want them all going in to the center. You know, all the hearts you can see are all pointing down, so it's gonna face upright like so when we put it together. So again, I'm gonna stick them all down. Okay, so that's now stuck down. So if I flip it back over again, bring up your heart. So just kind of start to work them into, you know, where they want to go. So you're going to bring them in. Keep them on one side. You might want to have one on one and one on the other. Fold those in. You can see now when it comes up, all of your outer sides are facing up the right way. Okay. Ta-da. Right. Next, we want to do this platform for our uh, little, you know, uh, bath bomb to sit on so let's just pop that pop that behind me for the moment so you are going to need your scoreboard and you're going to score at a quarter of an inch one inch four and three quarters and five and a half then rotate your cardstock and score exactly the same so a quarter of an inch one inch, four and three quarters, and five and a half. Okay, get rid of that. And then you just wanna burnish all of those score lines. So just be careful with your little quarter inch ones. I'm just gonna do those one inch ones first, and then I'll go back in with the tiny ones. And these are just enough just to stick it you know, to the center of that explosion box. 
plus I've done it this size so that it will fit through your smaller big shot because not everybody has the A4 machine so I try to do it so that you know everybody this will fit in your um, just show you my one here the six inch width plates okay Okay, so now we've done all of that, then we want to, I mean, to be honest, you can burnish before or after we've run it through the machine. It's, it doesn't make too much of a difference um, because it's going to be stuck down. I'd say if I was doing a gift box, I wouldn't burnish. I'd die cut first, but it's not so bad in this case. So I have here a circle die, which has a diameter of uh, two and three quarters but this is to fit this size bath bomb so again it's, it's entirely up to you but you can see there it just sits inside all right bearing in mind it's going to be slightly thicker than that because the cut line for the die is you know on more towards the outer part than the inner part so the bath bomb will sit in a little bit more but basically I'm going to grab my, my plates here that sits perfectly you want to sit it is centered to this um, white piece of cardstock here, the center square. You want to pop it right in the middle there, like so. Actually, I'm just having a thought. You want to do it on this bit of paper first. So, this is my patterned piece that I told you earlier that's going to sit inside there, okay, like so. You actually want to die cut this piece first because we use this then to trace around that to make sure we get it all nice and centered. So again, you want to make sure you get it smack bang in the middle on this piece. And then run that through. This piece here is, the measurement was, it's four by four square, so it's three and three quarters by three and three quarters, that plain piece that I showed you. So, oh. So let me just check. Yeah, oh no, three and a half. So this piece here is three and a half by three and a half. And now that will go back in here and then with your pencil, draw around it. Like so. And now it means that you'll get this bang in the middle and that will all match up nicely. So just gonna make sure I get it like there. And then the plates again. This is when your magnetic base plate comes in handy, which is what this is here. So this actually stays here already, it's kind of stuck to where I need it to stay, which is there. Get that one die cut. Okay, and now that one will go perfectly over the top, but still be nice and centered and have a nice little white border around there. So this piece we can now stick down. It's a bit easier to do while it's all um, flat. So I'm just gonna pop some wet glue like so. Okay, next we need to do some cutting. So pick a side, it doesn't matter. And you're gonna cut up if I just show you here, because it's a bit easier, because this is white, you can't really see it that well. But you've got this little piece, and then you've got that bigger piece. You want to just cut down past this little quarter inch score line, down to this main line here. Okay. This outer one, you're going to remove completely, and you're going to remove that piece there. So now we've just got this tab, and if you just take some wedges off, What's happened to my snips? I think I've got something on them again, but that's what you want to have, okay? Then go along again here and cut all the way down that one and that one. Remove that very small side one and then that base there. And again, take little wedges out. Okay, so you can see now what you've got. Then rotate the whole thing around and do the same again. So cut all the way down. Okay, so that is now what you should have. Next, we want to glue this down. So I'm just going to bring in my wet glue here and you just want to cover the tab. Don't go crazy, as I always say with the glue, you only need a little amount. Bring that one down and under, and this one's going to go over the top. 
you can kind of see now how it's all going to work. This, these are going to be our tabs to, to attach this piece to the actual explosion box. So you just want to make sure you've got a really nice crisp angle there on the corner and it's all stuck in inside. Okay, go across to the next one. Again, pop a bit of glue on the top, fold it down and bring around that other one like so. And then you're going to do the same with these two here. So, oh, okay, so that's now what you should have with these little quarter inch ones. So if you go and fold them all in, inside, like so, and you'll see you'll get little corners that overlap each other like that. And you just want to pop a little bit of glue just from the very, very end there. Just put a little bit of glue and just fold that piece over. Okay, and you can just pinch inside there between your finger and your thumb. You just want to create a little surface now that we can run our tape around. So can you see now that's stuck down? So just do that on all of the corners, just pop a little bit of glue. Just doesn't matter which one's over which one or under, as long as they're all attached. Okay, so that is now what we've got, this tiny little lip that goes around. And now we can put glue all around that. So I'm going to use my other glue. So this is just got that high attack on it and it dries quicker Yeah, we don't need loads like so okay move everything out of the way make sure you're working on the right side because obviously <laughs> that's my outside with the love writing turn it over and you're going to sit this inside the square and you should have a nice like one eighth of an inch border all the way around and then what you can do is with your any of your kind of tools or even a ruler as you can get in you can actually push down on that little lip inside making sure it's all nice and stuck down like so now it's entirely up to you if you want to decorate inside so that one there I can just put a bit of glue on and we'll sit I line up the hearts like so so I can have it the same, but you're not really going to see that. But I did have this one. I think I'm going to do that one instead inside there. But anyway, you can see what I mean. You can put anything in there to disguise. In fact, I might just keep it empty. But now that will sit perfectly inside. Like I said, put a couple of glue dots and pop it in there. But I'm undecided whether I'm going to add them in or not. So for now, I'm just going to leave it like so. So next we need to make the lid. Okay, so this is a piece of 8x8 cardstock and it's really simple. We're making this reinforced, so you just want to score at 1 and 2 inches and just do that on all four sides. So 1 and 2 and that will give us a 4x4 four four centred square in the middle here which will form the top of our lid. So just get rid of that. And again, just go along and burnish all of the score lines. Okay, and just the same as any other reinforced lid or box, we need to cut, as I always say, you've got these four squares in either the bottom left or bottom right hand corners. You want to cut down both of them, always past the first score line, score line down to the bottom. It's very much a similar cutting that we've just done with that little platform that we've just put in the middle. Remove the, the outer two, like so, and remove that top one. Okay, so we've got that tab again and then just tidy up all of the edges so the top one you're going to take a little wedge off you're going to take bigger little bigger little bigger wedges off of that one and again take a wedge off of that one so you've got a really tidy corner there go along here and do the same so cut down past these two remove the outer two completely and remove that one and again just go around like so okay rotate the whole thing and do exactly the same again okay so that's now what you should have and we're going to glue it exactly the same way again so the four top bits of the tabs for the top four tabs is where you're going to add your glue or the top of the four tabs even I think because I say the same thing over and over a lot of the time sometimes think god I'm not even making any sense so you can see that I'm sticking it exactly the same way so pop the glue on the top fold that down and bring that around 
very hard to um, you know teach and do at the same time which is obviously what I'm doing when I'm recording and um, I'm always thinking about this rather than what I'm saying sometimes so the amount of times I look back and when I go to edit I'm like my god you know what am I saying I don't even understand myself so I'm just a normal crafter like you all I've just uh, <laughs> yeah just choose to share them but um, it just goes to show that um, yeah I am normal <laughs> a bit crazy. So again, and then the last one, I'm just going to pull that one out a bit and then tuck it in. And then I always like to go in with my folder there and just make sure they're all nicely stuck down. Okay, and then you'll have these outer ones. And you just want to stick them all down the same way. So I'm going to go back to my other glue and just pop it along there. Fold it right in. And again, just really burnish it all down so it's nice and flat. And you've got a really nice side. So just do that on all four. Okay, so that is our lid done. Then you'll have this piece, so I've already stuck mine all down, that's going to go on the top of my lid, so I'm just going to stick that one on. Again, you'll have a nice little white border, flip it over, make sure it's all stuck down, I've got a little bit coming off there, stick that down again, like so. Then you will have all of these pieces. And you want to stick them on all of your four sides. Okay, then I'm going to decorate the top. So I've got one of my flowers. I've got my hot glue on. And I'm going to pop some adhesive foam. I'm going to pop one underneath where the actual little dip is, so I'll, show, I'll turn it over in a minute and show you, and I'm going to pop one there and one there. So just where it dips is where I put the foam adhesive because that's the part that's going to be obviously touching the top of our lid. I always like to put a little bit of extra glue on for good measure. And then I'm going to have it at an angle with some of it hanging over, I just like that. So you can see now how it's just kind of lifted up. The bow is going to go right in on that piece there, so it kind of the hot glue will go through and under like that. And then this little flower here again, I'm just going to pop a little bit of hot glue just onto the back and just sit that just at the end. And just bring that up a bit now and you can see how that all looks really pretty so that's the lid all done bring this all back in and work on the inside so I'd already gone ahead with that one and that's going to go in there so again with my hot glue I'm just going to pop a bead of glue on the back of the peg there and that way I can line this up so it's all within that smaller square like so and then I've got the butterfly I wouldn't usually use my hot glue for this but because it's out and I'm going to pop the butterfly opposite which you can't see me do there we go just again make sure it's all nicely lined up like so I just realised I haven't cut my thing for the other side. I'll do that off camera and you'll see it in the photos anyway. And then for this one here, pop some glue on the back of my hand because it's a more of an intricate die. Probably should have put this through. I've got a little Xyron sticker machine, but I will just pop a little bit of glue just on the edges there. Pop that on. And again, using my hot glue here, just pop a 
few flowers. So that looks really pretty. Get rid of all my stringy bits. Make sure that's all nice and stuck down, which it is. And then grab my bath bomb. And then what you want to do before you go to put it all together is we want to take a few little bits off. Now we've stuck all this in place. We're just going to cut tiny little more like little kind of wedges off but without it looking too you know like we've cut into it but you just want to cut little bits off and this will just make it easier for our lid to fit on so I'm going in just from the very very top because I didn't give you that 1 16th measurement on the lid because a lot of people find it confusing but you can see I've just taken tiny bits out without it compromising the, the overall look really. So just enough and this will be that kind of 1 16th measurement. That's that one. Again, just a very small amount. You might find your lid fits but it doesn't always and you don't want it to start to buckle or damage your cardstock. So, like that, and then take a little bit off of this. And it's only, some you might want to do, just do on one side. You may have stuck your card slightly wonky, so at least this way you can kind of even it out. There we go, that'll do. Okay, and then just bring it up, and you want your hearts to go in against the side where there's least bulk. So I've got the bulkiness of my card and the butterfly, so I'm going to bring this one in here, because even when I do stick down what goes there, it's not bulky at all. And you'll just see it allows, yeah, just gives it more space. So you can see how it all sits in. Make sure it's all nice and tight together, and then with your lid, because you've taken off all those edges, your lid will now have a real nice snug. Because you want it to hold it in place, because there's a lot of, you know, there may be obviously something quite heavy in there. But can you see now how that all fits in? And then lift the lid and out pops this loveliness and your bath bomb or whatever gift it is you have. Because you don't have to put that platform in there. You might have another gift in there. You might have a mini birthday cake. There's so many different you know, options and ways to use this. But again, the more you use it and the more you open and close it, the easier you know this will kind of all stay in place. But just make sure that they do all sit in there quite comfortably. And then like I said, it all closes up. And fits down and it, you want it to be snug that's why you just need to take away just keep cutting away little slithers from the side but not enough that it's going to you know ruin your design and your border but you can see there just the very very tiny bits I've taken off and that's enough for you to get that really nice tight lid closure which I've got on both of these so again lift them off there we go and that is what I hadn't stuck down on the other one so just this one here with the circle which is from those um, again free downloads but there you have it keep the lid there so you can see it how cute are those any occasion wedding birthdays engagements and then valentine's so hope you've enjoyed this look at the color of that green that it's bringing out there look and then it goes look at that pink i love love the holographic mirrored cardstock thing it's so fun but there you go hope you've enjoyed it if you have please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you get to see more thanks for watching bye